How to assemble the poly die unit. First of all, make sure you have the main board, daughter board, the cartridge interface board and all three cables and a couple of M3 screws, as well as the printed parts that you have designed for your specific printer. We then take the bottom part of the motherboard's housing and tilt the motherboard slightly so that the SD card slot can slide into its space provided. Take the four M3 screws and screw the motherboard down onto the bottom housing. Once fastened in place, take the top of the housing and snap it down into place. Next, we are going to take the printed cartridge housing and place one M3 screw into the first hole. Hold it in place while getting a nut and placing it into the grooves, which is situated on the inside of the fan shroud's housing. Screw the parts together. Make sure you're holding the nut in place with your fingers while screwing the screws on. Don't tighten them yet. As we will be needing to adjust our height in a bit for calibrating, the cartridge housing should be able to move up and down and we will do the same for the other side. Once that is done, we are going to put these on the printer's fan shroud like so. If the print head is not over the bed, slide it so that it is just hovering over. This is to calibrate the height of the nozzle and cartridge holder to the bed. Make sure the nozzle is set at zero. Then make adjustments so that the cartridge holder is straight and level with the bed. Once done, screw tightly in place. Next, we are going to put the daughter board on the cartridge holder like so. This might be a bit tight, so don't be scared to add a bit of pressure while inserting the board. Take the cartridge interface board. Be very careful of the poker pins as they are delicate. Slot it in like this. Once finished, unlock the small black latch on the board by pulling it up, then insert the 16-pin FPC cable, which is the small white and blue cable. Do this for both the daughter board and cartridge interface board. Then push the latch down in place. This part can be a bit fiddly. Make sure the silver strip on the cable is facing out on the daughter board and the blue strip on the other end of the cable be facing out on the interface board. Then get the 14 pin IDC cable which is the grey cable. Make sure the red line is on the bottom last set of pins. We are then going to attach the other end of the cable to the corresponding connector on the motherboard and make sure the red line is facing the bottom and in line with the other end. Next, we take the last cable and attach it to the connector on the daughter board and then to the corresponding connector on the motherboard, making sure the colors line up with each other. Lastly, we are going to insert the cartridge in the cartridge housing. Tilt the cartridge slightly and slide it into these grooves and clip it down in place like this. Please note, if you need to screw or unscrew the cartridge holder from the shroud holder, First take the cartridge interface board out. And there we go, we have assembled our poly die unit. Next we will move on to calibrating poly die in order to print.